Hey guys, what's up? Today I have swatches to share with you for a polish pickup. This month, polish pickup is going to be a little bit different. They're going to be launching on December 2nd, which is a Monday, and the sale or the pre order is going to run through December 6th. So instead of being on the first Friday of the month, this month to celebrate Cyber Monday, they're going to begin their sale December 2nd. So if you didn't know that, be sure to head on over to their site, which I'm going to have linked down below, and start building your wish list so that you can have a faster shopping experience. First, let's go over a little bit about what Polish Pickup is. Polish Pickup is from the interactive Facebook group of the same name, where uh, the customers go and they vote for a theme. And then once the theme is chosen, the makers will come up with an inspiration photo to honor the theme and create a polish. Some of the polishes will be capped. And what I mean by that is that they're going to have a limit. So some will be, say, capped at 100. That means once 100 sell, the polish will no longer be available. Some of them won't, and you'll be able to buy as many as you want. Um, they will all be pre-ordered. So what that means is at the end of the sale on December 6th, the makers get their number, and then they go ahead and they make that amount of polish to send to the Polish Pickup headquarters. And then once those girls get it, they disperse it with your orders, which also means that there is a flat rate of shipping. The shipping for the United States is $3. Canada is 5 However, international shipping will vary, so you'll have to check on it with them for proper figures. You, If you decide to place more orders, you will be charged at the time of purchase, but the girls will go and once they get to your order, they will refund you the extra shipping. The I know I said this was pre-order, and I don't believe I touched on how long the turnaround time is. The turnaround time is approximately three weeks from the close of the shop, and that's for the domestic orders. So let's just go ahead and jump into this. And first up, we're going to have a look at is 77 Nail Lacquer. This is called Yippie Kaye MF. It's going to sell for $13. It was inspired by the Christmas movie Die Hard and John McClane, and I am firmly in the camp that a Die Hard is a Christmas movie. It is described as a purple base with multi-chrome pigment that shifts from gold to orange to pink to purple to red. It's topped with a delicate orange shimmer. The cap is going to be 98 bottles available. The formula on this was wonderful. It went on smoothly and ev evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I didn't have any running or pooling or staining. It isn't going to dry textured, but you're going to want to go in with a glossy top coat for longevity and some extra shine. And the removal is also quite easy. My swatches are going to show you two coats and a glossy top coat. Next up is 1850 Artisan Polish Winter Twilight. This is going to sell for $12.50. It was inspired by the winter evening sky. It is a thermal polish that is described as being filled with holographic microflakes that go pink to purple and blue shifting iridescent microflakes that have copper highlights. It is a medium blue and warm that allows the pink highlights to stand out and a midnight blue and cool that show off those copper highlights. This is going to be capped at 150 bottles. The application and the formula were excellent. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It is not going to dry texture. It is hollow and flakes, so you don't have to worry about your removal being difficult. It ooh, did, not, did not stain, and that thermal is very reactive. I had no trouble showing the shift. So here is two coats of Winter Twilight and a glossy top coat. Next up is from By Danny Vienna and it is cozy by the fireplace. It is gonna sell for $11.50, and it was inspired by a warm fireplace pitcher. It is described as a rusty red orange with holographic pigment. There is going to be 200 bottles available. The formula on this was excellent. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I didn't have any running or pooling. It is highly pigmented, so I would recommend a base coat, although I didn't have any staining. But again, I only wore this for a little bit while I was swatching and taking photos. This is two coats of Cozy by the Fireplace and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Cupcake Polish. This is the Santa Claus. This will sell for $13 and there will be no cap. This was inspired by the Santa Claus movie that stars Tim Allen. And the polish is described as a burgundy-based multi-chrome that shifts from red to gold to green 
to capture the full spectrum of the magic of Christmas colors. This polish had a wonderful formula. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I did not experience any staining and nothing in there is going to be difficult to remove. Nothing is textured. I finished this off with a glossy, glo glossy top coat from Glisten and Glow. So this was two coats of the Santa Claus from Cupcake Polish and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Cuticula, and this is Fairy Frost Cloud Cover Matte Top Coat. It is going to sell for $12, and there will be 200 bottles available. Cuticula was inspired by a photo of a fairy standing in the snow. Fairy Frost is described as a matte top coat with a blend of micro rainbow pearl flakes, rainbow crystal chameleon flakes, with bright violet sparks. This went on very smoothly and evenly as you can see here. I didn't have to do any kind of manipulation. I just applied it and it dries down matte so you might want to go in depending on preference with a glossy top coat first and then do the matte or if you don't you can just do this on its own because it is a top coat. It just dries matte. I have it shown for you here in one coat. Over first you saw it over burnt sugar by Cuticula and this that you're seeing now is one coat of it over Soiree by Quixotic Polish. Next up is a duo from Cuticula. This is their Limitless Quick Dry Top Coat and Mic Drop Base Coat Duo. It is going to sell for $16. It is only sold as a duo and there will be 200 duos available. This is in the scent Blackberry Lemon Curd, which is described as a combination of fresh zesty lemons, warm vanilla extract, a hint of sugar blended with fresh cream, and followed by a strong top note of tart blackberries, sparkling citrus, and finished with just a touch of herb. The first part of the scent that always hits my nose when I'm using this is the lemon scent, and then a followed by the vanilla with the berry kind of mixed in, and it's a wonderful scent. If you love any of the things described in the description, you're definitely going to love this top coat. Both Limitless Top Coat and Mic Drop Base Coat are five free. The Limitless Top Coat is quick dry, it is, um, the scent lasts a really long time, it doesn't shrink, it's never shrank any of my polishes, you guys know if you watch my videos that it's pretty much the only top coat that I use for everything, I love it that much, it dries very fast, very hard, very shiny. It never dulls my hollows. Um, Mic Drop Base Coat is amazing. It is a wonderful product and you know how sometimes you can't pick a base coat because sometimes you might need a ridge filler or you might need a strengthening base coat or you might want it sticky if you're going on vacation and you want the longevity. Well this, this top coat checks all those boxes. It is all of those things. It's a strengthener, it's a sticky base coat for long wear, and it's a ridge filler so no more having to decide which top coat you want or base coat that you're going to use. This checks all of those boxes. It is also five free, and it's, I shown it to you here underneath my Manny to start, and then I topped everything off with Limitless Base Coat, and as you can see, it did not smear my stamping, so it is wonderful for nail art too. All around, these products are excellent, and I highly recommend them. Next up is from Dreamland Lacquer called Winter Never Quite Leaves. It is going to sell for $12. There will be 180 bottles available. This was inspired by a photo that a friend of the maker took in the Arctic. It is a thermal polish that is a dark gray at some angles when cold or a dark brown at other angles. And it will transition to a light aqua teal color when warm and it is filled with shifty aurora pigment. The formula on this was absolutely excellent. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. Removal was easy and the only took two coats to be opaque. So this is two coats of Winter Never Quite Leaves and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Ethereal Lacquer and this polish is called Ice Fire. It is going to sell for $12.50 and there will be 250 bottles available. This was inspired by the magic of Iceland's Blue Lagoon. Ice Fire is described as an almost foil-like multi-chrome that shifts teal, blue, purple, and bright magenta with some orange at extreme angles. The formula on this was excellent and went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. Nothing in there is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. The swatches that you're watching me do here are three coats and a glossy top coat.
And this next one is from Flirtin, and it is called Ornamental. It is going to sell for $12, and there will be 75 bottles available. This was inspired by a photo of a purple confetti Christmas tree ornament, and it's described as a dark purple jelly that's packed with shades of purple confetti and a mix of glitters. This will have a visible nail line, as most jelly polishes do. The formula on it was excellent. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I'm a little bit unfamiliar with jelly polishes. This was the first one I put on in a really long time, like this, but it was very easy to work with. The removal on it may be a bit difficult. There is glitter in there, so you're either going to want to peel off base coat or so you're going to want to use pure acetone for removal. But this was three coats of ornamental and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Girly Bits, and this is called I Came, I Thaw, I Conquered. It is going to sell for $13. There is no cap. This was inspired by the movie Ice Age, and is described as a soft and feminine lilac purple base with a strong shift that travels from blue and light turquoise to purple, pink, and violet with a subtle hint of holographic glow pigment. The formula on this was absolutely excellent and went on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. Nothing in there is textured or going to be difficult to remove. The swatches that you see here are three coats of I Came, I Thaw, I Conquered, and a glossy top coat. This next product is from Girly Bits, and it is called Toes to Nose Pedicure Balm. It is going to sell for $7, and there will be 35 available. It is an all-natural and 100% lickable moisturizing and healing balm that is for your puppy's feet, elbows, and noses, and possibly cats too, if they will let you. It comes in a convenient 10-gram twist-up oval stick. It doesn't contain any fragrance or essential oils. Basically, it can be used to, sometimes, one of my dad's dogs, she used to get a very dry nose this time of year, so this would be perfect for rubbing on your pet's dry skin if they have it on their elbows or their nose, or before you take them out for a walk, because, you know, depending on where you live, like where I live, the city throws down a ton of salt, and that can be really harsh on your dog's feet. So this, you would just rub it on their feet before you take them out, and it will protect them. If they want to lick it, it will be okay. It won't hurt them. So I'm going to actually be using it again tonight because this is the first snow that we're having. I'm in New York, and we're getting a little bit of a snowstorm. So my dogs are going to have to put up with me putting this on their feet. And here's a look of my dogs posing with this for some photos. They were very cooperative, and my fingers are crossed that they will be as cooperative when the time comes to actually rub it on their feet. This is a look at your look at Toes to Nose Pedicure Bomb by Girly Bits. Next up is from Jay Rain, and this is Crystal Star. Crystal Star was inspired by. LOL Winter Disco and it is described as a super shifty baby blue that goes from fuchsia to red to green to gold. This is going to sell for $13 and there will be 400 bottles available. The formula on this is going to start off a little sheer but I was able to build to opacity in just three coats. I started off with a thinner coat and then went in for a thicker second and then thicker third and the formula was excellent. It went on very smoothly, very evenly. It was easy to apply. There was no running or pooling, nothing stained, nothing dried, textured, and nothing will be difficult to remove. That, so this is three coats of Crystal Star and a glossy top coat. Next up is from J. Rain also, and this is their Pixie Magic Kit in the color Disco. It is going to sell for $15, and there will be 400 of these kits available. This it was inspired by a winter disco. What this is is a burnishing powder, so you use this with all your normal products. You apply your normal base coat, your normal color, your normal top coat, wait for it all to dry. Then you take your super base, which is included in the kit, and let that dry, apply it to your, you know, on top of your nail polish 
let it dry for about 30 to 45 seconds, then do what you see me doing here. Burnish it on with either your finger or the applicator that comes with the kit. Once that's done, you just apply your regular top coat and you have a beautiful mesmerizing effect. Literally all of these kits are wonderful. They're so easy to use and I am so grateful that a company put out something that you can use with something other than gel. I just do removal with a baby wipe, which is also easy and quick. So that was a disco pixie magic kit over volcanic, which is a brown polish from Twinkle Tea. Next up is from Kathleen and Co. and this is Winter's Dusk. It is going to sell for $13 and there will be 250 bottles available. It is described as a light purple base that's loaded with aurora shimmers that shift from pink to orange to gold and green. The formula on this was wonderful. It starts off a little bit sheer, but I was able to achieve full opacity in just three coats. It goes on very smoothly and evenly. There is no running or pulling. It stayed right where I put it. Nothing in there is textured, so nothing in there is going to be difficult to remove. My swatches show you three coats of Winter's Dusk and a glossy top coat. This next polish is from Lily Pad Lacquer and it is called Below Zero. It is going to sell for $14 and there is no cap. This was inspired by an image from the internet and is described as a dusty pastel lavender scattered hollow with a pink sheen. The formula on this is excellent. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. The removal process is also very easy. Nothing in there is going to be textured, so nothing in there is going to be difficult to remove. My swatches are going to show you three coats of Below Zero without a glossy top coat, as is the maker's request. This next polish is from Polished for Days, and it is called All is Calm. This is going to sell for $12.50 and there will be no cap. This was inspired by a calm snowstorm. It is described as a winter blue base that's packed with holographic microflakes and orange to green shifting micro flaky shimmer. The formula on this was absolutely excellent. It went on very smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. Nothing in there is going to be difficult to remove or dry down textured. My swatches are showing you two coats of All Is Calm and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Quixotic Polish and it is called Make It Stop. This is going to sell for $11.50 and have a cap of 300 bottles available. This was inspired by Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas is You. And as somebody who worked retail, this polish speaks to my soul because you have to listen to Christmas music all day, every day, for an entire month. So Make It Stop is perfect. As is the formula on this polish. It goes on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I didn't have any running or pooling or staining. The removal is easy. Nothing in there is going to be difficult to remove or dry down textured. So this is three coats of Make It Stop from Quixotic Polish and a glossy top coat. Next up is from Rogue Lacquer. This is Winter Solstice, and it is going to sell for $12.50, and there will be 330 bottles available. This was inspired by the Winter Solstice, and it is described as a pale lavender with orange to pink to green color shifting flakes and holographic flakes. This polish had an excellent formula. It starts off sheer, but I was able to build to full opacity in three coats. I start off with a sheer first coat and then build with a thicker second and then thicker third coat. It, the formula was excellent. It stayed right where I put it. No running, no pooling. There was no staining. Nothing in there is textured. 
well, actually not textured in the sense of it will be difficult to remove because nothing in here will be difficult to remove, but it might have a little bit of a texture, so you're gonna want a glossy top coat to have a completely smooth feeling. This next polish is from Sassy Cat's Lacquer, and it is called Dragon Glass. It's gonna sell for $12, and there will be 100 bottles available. This was inspired by Dragon Glass from Game of Thrones, and is described as a smoky black base with a explosive blue shimmer. This went has an excellent formula. It applied smoothly and evenly. It stayed where I put it. It starts off a bit sheer, but I was able to achieve full opacity in three coats. I also thought this would look really cool matte, so I went ahead and added a matte top coat, which I'm going to show you at the end after I show you a picture of it glossy. Nothing in here is going to dry textured or be difficult to remove. You're going to want a glossy top coat for full shine because this is beautiful, glossy, and matte. So this was three coats of dragon glass and a glossy top coat, and then a matte top coat. Last up is from Supermoon Lacquer. This is called This Is My December. It is going to sell for $12.50, and there will be no cap. This was inspired by the song My December from the band Linkin Park. It is described as a medium navy blue holographic base that's filled with blue to red color shifting shimmer, silver white shimmer, gold red and white sparks, iridescent blue red and rose pearl microflakes, and holographic microflakes. The formula on this was wonderful. It went on smoothly and evenly. It stayed right where I put it. I didn't have any staining. The removal process is also very easy. Nothing in there is textured, so nothing is going to be difficult to remove. So this was two coats of This Is My December and a glossy top coat. And that wraps up this polish pickup for December. I hope you enjoyed the video. I apologize if there were any noises in the background. I don't usually record at home and everybody is home today. So there were a few stray noises going on back there. I'm sorry if it was distracting. But let me know what your favorite is. Let me know what you picked up from Polish Pickup. And if there's anything that I didn't get here, if there's anything that you think I should have this month from Polish Pickup. Thanks for watching and I will catch you next time. Bye guys.